Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Benson and today I got something very exciting to show you. I got not one but two Peloton bikes. So I got the Peloton 1 and the Peloton Plus which just came out recently. Now exercise bike or spin bike like Peloton is a very expensive investment. So each bike costs about £2,000 and no I'm not rich. And no, I'm not getting paid to do this video, so I'm not sponsored. It just so happened that during COVID-19 lockdown, we have ordered the Peloton bike. Within a month, the new one came out, which is the Plus. They have a uh, guarantee return policy, so we're going to return the old one. But we can't wait to return the old one and then buy the new one. So as soon as the Plus version came out on the market, we order it straight away. So there is this period where they haven't collected the old bike. And we got to keep using it with the new bike. So me and my wife, we both train at the same time, which is very rare because usually we need to take turns. I'm sure there's loads of uh, information about the Plus. It's just my own opinion about the bike. For me, it's kind of like a fresh pair of eyes because I only had the bike for a couple of weeks, like three weeks, and then the new version comes out and we got to try both. So without further ado, let me show you the bike itself. So we have carpet on my studio and they have a thick underlay because it kind of keep the room quite well insulated. But a side effect of that is that no matter what you put on the floor, um, it bounces. With Peloton bike, although they are very heavy, but um, when you're actually standing up and um, doing the, um, the bike ride, sometimes they wobble. So our solution is put them on a hard surface like a board. So this is just temporary. And they're going to remove this bike anyway, so um, this is not how usually we ride, but it kind of does the job for, for, for now. But this particular board is made for the, the um, Plus. The Plus is a new bike and they have only four rubber feet compared to the old version which has like uh, six. So here you got one, two, three, four adjustable feet and one in the middle. I personally find the um, the first version more stable because you spread the load so it's easier on the floor. Um, if you put it on concrete floor it shouldn't really matter but uh, I, I find the old one a bit better. Now this one here we actually have to cut the boards so it has a hole right underneath the adjustable feet and then what it does is extend to actually touch the concrete floor and now this is rock solid. It takes me about a day or two to sort it out and um, I can actually move it to different uh, location providing that I actually have the cut out and then they remove the carpet and the underlay or else it wobbles and it drives me nuts. Not so much for the old one but the new one. It's supposed to be more stable but for me personally it didn't work because it didn't spread the weight out evenly. So this, yes, a uh, very good decoration, but it does serve a purpose of like, you know, hiding the holes that we have in the carpet. And the light, um, yeah, is a bit of vanity project. Uh, we like to go to spin classes and our previous gym have those uh, running laser kind of a light thing. So um, we, we want something similar, so we, you, don't, you don't have to. The bike itself is expensive and uh, actually buying a 2000 bike doesn't mean that you go slim, you still have to watch your diet. But what it does is you're buying the lifestyle. The bike itself is fantastic. It's one of the best spin bikes that I have been on. And we tried it in the showroom and then we fell in love with it straight away. But what it's actually selling you is not the bike itself. You need a subscription. And once you have the subscription, you have tons of different programs available to you. You will never run out of um, instructors or the type of classes. You've got different... Uh, at music, you've got different kind of a training, interval training. Because you're buying into the whole lifestyle, I find it more engaging. So any kind of exercise equipment, if you buy it and just leave it in the shed, it's not going to make you any healthier. You may as well, you know, save that money in your wallet. But what it does is it encourages you to actually work that little bit harder. The, all the instructor, I have to say, they, they really encourage you as in like... Uh, they almost like a family, Peloton family, and I, I do feel that, you know. They celebrate if you like do 10 rides, 100 rides, you get mentioned if you do live classes. So you can actually do um, the class in live, in real time with the instructor. 
And there's a lot of recorded ones as well that you can do. So I have some friends which live in America and they have the bike. And sometimes, even though there's a time difference, we decide to ride together. Now there are cameras in front of the screen. So if you want to, you can do like a FaceTime. Um, so you ride together and you see each other like sweaty face and you encourage each other to work that little bit harder. The other thing which is like uh, encourage you to work even harder is like a scoreboard. So live classes or recorded classes, you can see your statistic on the screen, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And you can actually see your output, how hard that you're working compared to other people who is on the program at that time or historical data. So you can actually try to beat other people who is riding the same program. So I find that really fun because I'm quite competitive myself. A bit more about the two, two, two bikes. So what are the different there is? A lot of them is the same. The subtle difference will be like, for example, there is a light. I don't know if you can see it. So there's a light here where the cable is going to the bike. When it is powered, you've got LED to show you that it's power, which is not there. So a lot of changes to the bike itself is very subtle. For example, you see this light up LED, which is not in the old bike. To be honest, if you pretty useless if you have your bike set up because you can see if it is powered or not by the screen. But if the screen doesn't turn on, at least then it tells you that you haven't plugged it into the mains. This, I like it, but my wife don't really like it because in the on the old bike you have this lever system which actually you don't need much strength to tighten it once you get into the right place you just like push it up across and that's very very tight whereas this one do require you to use a lot of strength from your wrist and my wife sometimes find it difficult to actually adjust and tighten this so you ride and then this thing fall down and get shorter and shorter um cosmetic wise the the new peloton plus has like this kind of uh, stick on the logo, whereas the old one is like a sticker. Yeah, they both have twist to turn resistance, but on the new one is actually electronic adjustment. So you turn this, there's a motor in there which turns it for you for a good reason, because now when you go onto any rides, the computer can actually change your resistance according to your instructor. So for example, if your instructor recommended, let's say a resistance of 50, and if you press the lock logo, it will change the resistance for you. This is a game changer. I mean, if you're already like, you know, doing your personal best and you push yourself forward all the time, it's not so much a big deal. But for someone who always like touch the knob and uh, reduce the resistance whenever you feel challenged, with this system here, is a really good tool to help you to push that little bit further. Now, one of the main reasons that we want to go for the plus bike instead of the old version is that the screen is a very subtle, but I think it is a bigger screen. You've got the speaker now facing the front. I don't know why the old one has speaker at the back, which is really stupid. So what we end up using is a wireless headphone because we hate the sound so much. The sound is coming out from the, from the back. With this one here, finally, I think they uh, worked it out that the best place to put it is actually the speaker right here. The new bike now have this privacy option. You can just flip it and they actually physically cover up the camera. So if you're paranoid about people spying on you, you do that and no longer showing the camera. Whereas the old one, you put a piece of tape over it, I guess. Apart from that, the ergonomics, like the handlebar and stuff like that is pretty much identical. Um, I, I personally don't see any difference between the two. The click system is still the same, so you use the same Peloton shoes with a click underneath. And that's about it. And the tilt tilt screen, I was to almost give it away. And one other thing about the new Peloton where a lot of people complain about in the old bike is that now the screen can tilt. Now the reason why you want a tilt screen is because Peloton is not only for riding in terms of like cycling. 
you can also do other things. For example, you can actually do riding. You can do like core exercise. You can do relaxation like yoga. And if the screen is always facing the bike and you want to use your exercise mat, it's quite annoying. So what they have decided to do is put in the, the flippy screen, like a flippy screen. Let me show you. Now you can actually twist the screen to face your exercise mat. You see that? So you're no longer restrained to this kind of a position. You can actually twist it all the way over there. Whereas this one is rigid. So you can't really turn the screen. So let's say I want to use my exercise mat here to do some core exercises. And I still got the screen facing me. Again, this is a major change, and I'm sure it's covered it in a lot of uh, online videos already. The bottle holder is clear plastic now, where it is a frosted. Uh, to be honest, even I don't really care. I ride so hard until that everything go into blur. So all these cosmetic details doesn't really make any difference to me. What's up, hustlers? This is a 20 minutes about a ride. I am Robin. Welcome to the party. So this ride is an interval-based ride. We're going to work in a two-to-one ratio. It is out of that saddle, again, for your safety. Resistance. Let's go ahead and create our road. 20 to 40 minimum on resistance. So whenever you do exercises on the spin bike, this is usually what you see. On the right hand side here, you got the scoreboard or leaderboard. So all time means that, you know, this is recorded. Um, 100,000 right people in there. And this is where you are. So this is my wife account. So if you are not doing anything, you'll be at the bottom of the leaderboard. And as you ride, you will come upwards from there. And you can also see who is here now. So all these are people around the world who is while riding this particular program. So here you got your cadence, which is your kind of like your, your pedaling speed. You got your resistance, so how heavy is the wheel or flywheel. These two combined together will give you an output. Now the output is how they measure how hard that you're actually riding. And if you put in there your personal statistic and if you have a heart rate monitor, you can also like work out your cal calorie burns. So each exercise, how much you're actually burning. With a subscription, I mean, the, the amount of classes is really, truly amazing. You will never run out of uh, things to do on the Peloton bike. That's why some people have like, you know, 1,000 rides, 2,000 rides. And um, you got all different kind of uh, uh, music available. You can do cycling, you can do floor exercise. So this is how important it is to have the screen, which is flip. I mean, you can have the apps on your phone or you can like um, port it onto your telly. But if you have already got a bike and a, and a, and a screen, and this is a really fantastic uh, music system as well. So you got like um, floor exercise, which you can like uh, strength, stretching, yoga, meditation, cardio. So you got some like heat cardio exercises. My favorite is cycling. So um, that's all, all the cycling available. And you can choose like um, with weights or without weights. So some of them, while you're riding, you got like um, some weights that you can use. Now, you don't need very heavy weights um, to do this kind of exercise. So that's my main take on um, the two differences between the Peloton bikes. Like I say, we are really fortunate that we managed to try it out both of the bikes. Unfortunately, tomorrow they're coming to pick up the old bike. I would really love to keep it. Having two bikes means that I don't need to keep adjusting the position after I finish with my bike. But I love my wife, so every time I finish, I wipe down and I change it back to her position so she don't have to struggle with the knobs and adjustment. But so far, so good. I mean, in combination of uh, having a better diet, exercise bike and my VR headset, and I already lost nine kilos in the last eight weeks. 
and I am continue to doing it to build my strength so that I can have better results on the leaderboard. So thank you very much for watching my video and uh, any question put it in the comment section but I'm sure there's tons of video on the new and old bikes so this is just my little video to show you um, what having two bikes is like and I'm loving it until tomorrow I'm gonna take this one away so Peloton family if you're out there give us a like share and subscribe to my channel and I see you soon thank you and bye bye